Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman Sports Podcast. Um, you know, I wanted to sit down today and talk about a very, very sad uh, topic. Um, at least for me, it's sad, you know, for other people out there, you know, that don't like us, you know, that, that aren't a part of my beloved Houdad nation. Um, for those people, it's not a sad day, but for me, it is sad as I sit here, uh, currently just getting past the wild card round of the playoffs. Um, you know few days afterwards, I'm watching all these playoff games, and my Saints are not in it. If you if you don't know me, I'm one half of the show. Um, my other half uh, of the show is not here today. Um, Garrett, he is busy, couldn't be with me today. But I am going to come on here as a fan and talk about the a review on the Saints season. Um you know, I think the Saints uh, had a lot of promise coming into this year. Um, good offensive line, or at least we thought. You know, as long as Trevor Penning could be half as good as Teron Armstead, I figured we'd be okay. We have Alvin Kamara, even though he has his own legal situation going on. Um, but we know what type of player he is. Uh, Michael Thomas was seemingly healthy. Um, and we got Jarvis Landry, we got Honey Badger. It was very promising. We had a good defense. Uh, still think we have a top defense in the league when healthy. Um, but the one thing that every team must have that we did not have is a quarterback. And we also drafted a receiver in the first round named Chris Olave, who I think should win rookie of the year. Um, but... We drafted him knowing that, you know, quarterback can be kind of a question mark. And boy, was it. I mean, we ended up benching Jameis Winston after he initially got hurt for Andy Dalton and writing that thing out. Um, You know, uh, it was a lot of Taysom Hill. (laughs) It was a lot of Alvin Kamara, a lot of uh, Chris Olave. You know, some guys still had some really good years. Um but as a whole, we finished, I think we finished eight and nine, um, on either eight and nine or yes, we finished eight and nine with the same record as the Buccaneers. I'm pretty sure. Um, but they beat us in both games <clears throat> and won in the division more. So that is the reason why we were out of the playoffs. But when the entire team was on the field, you could see the potential there. The problem is a lot of the time. <clears throat> um, you know, guys weren't on the field and, uh, you know, coaching, uh, first year head coach, Dennis Allen, um, had some, some problems with clock management, uh, had some problems with, you know, kind of, I think managing the locker room a little bit, um, just because I know the players had high, higher expectations than how they ended up performing as well. Um, but <clears throat> I mean, all in all, I think, you know, looking back on the season, it's a disappointment, but also we have optimism moving forward. Um, I think if we can get a quarterback in there that is part of this new kind of era, um, and what I mean is post-Sean Payton era, um, you know, every head coach wants their own quarterback. Let let Dennis Allen, you know, hopefully get one. If we can get some first-round picks for trading Sean Payton, um, I think, you know, Quarterback is definitely something that we need to focus on, whether that's going into free agency and trying to get a guy like Geno Smith or Jimmy Garoppolo, or which I am i don't think that's the route for us. Um, you know, Jimmy G would be an interesting situation, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe look at options like Jordan Love um, or even look into the draft if we do end up getting a first-round pick. Um, but, you know, all in all, Uh, I think we need to move forward. We need to, you know, really, uh, because when the team is healthy, I think we're a team that is at least going to make the playoffs. 
Um, I think we're a threat when we're when we're healthy. Uh, the the Saints are. I think that you know we operate at a very high level, move the ball down the field easily, play good defense when we're fully healthy. But you know the best ability in the NFL is availability, and we haven't had enough of that. So um, hopefully that changes in the years coming, and next year uh, hopefully that changes, and then. You know, also hopefully we can get a, a quarterback in there that um, can play a little bit above average because I don't think average play is good enough. I think we need some above average quarterback play to get us to where we need to be. Um, and then, you know, I say we we could definitely use a tight end because um, I don't think Troutman is necessarily a primary number one, especially with the way that tight ends are used nowadays. Um, but I mean, all in all, I think it's, uh, the same story as it's been, uh, in, in the past couple of saints off seasons to where, you know, you're going to have scenarios where we're going to have to let guys go that we may not want to see let go, but that's so that we can bring other guys in and so that we can afford things down the road that we're going to need and not have to completely rebuild. We can just kind of reload. And that's what I would like to do with this roster. You know, keep the guys that really matter. Let some of the guys that are kind of more role players go. And reload with good talent. Reload with your own quarterback. Coach, you know, you know, maybe coaching comes back with with new plans, new goals. You know, a new scheme, something like that. And get things up and running. You know, make this thing run like an, a well-oiled machine. I think we have the GM to do it. We can definitely nail a draft. He's done that a couple times for us in history and made some good trades and things like that. And I think we have the pieces. Um, and I, you know, I, I think we have all the pieces that we need. Um, you know, just, we need to kind of fill the little holes and, uh, that's, that's what I hope we can do this off season, fill the biggest hole at quarterback, hopefully, or at least start developing a quarterback towards being that future guy for us. Um, and kind of have more of a plan in place because we don't want to just be in purgatory uh, forever. We don't want to be hanging around nine and eight or eight and nine every year um, and get mid round draft picks and, you know, have to struggle through every season. Um, Excuse me. But um, yes, no, I, I I think we're in a good place, uh, but looking back on the year, not acceptable. Uh, We, our health needs to be better moving forward. Um, Quarterback needs to be, no question coaching needs to get better clock management needs to get better um i feel like the front office just needs to be working as a whole and be ready and um you know keep the right guys in place and get rid of the right guys and bring in the right guys um for next season and get back to what you know we're used to at, at over there in new orleans and everything so um anyway <laughs> that was my rant uh, just wanted to come on here and give you guys a, a you know a short little thing. Wanted to make sure that we're still uploading on a consistent basis, still getting content out to you guys, uh, still working hard over here. Uh, still big things coming. You know, me and Garrett are always working on new ideas and new ways to kind of spice it up on the channel over here. So uh, please keep tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you guys would. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, listening. We love what we do over here. Uh, I'm one half of the show, Cade. My partner, Garrett, isn't here today. And this has been another episode of Journeyman Sports Podcast. And we are out.